Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the More, and today I am sharing another card with you, and this one is using the Painted Poppies bundle. Now if you saw my video on Sunday, I did a treat box or a little gift box with it. So I am going to post that here somewhere in the video, probably up in the corner. <laughs> and um, so you can see that if you want, but this I'm using, I don't know if you can see, I added dimension to this. And I'm actually, to get the dimension on here, and you do have to let this dry, so be aware of that. When you do it, I'm using our Shimmery Crystal Effects. Now this was in our um, holiday catalog, and to be honest, um, I'm going to do some research because I'm not sure if this is coming back in our annual catalog or if it's still available to order, but I will put it in the supply list if it is, and I will also try to look it up and I'll put it somewhere in this video if it is. And if you haven't, you can use any kind of crystal effects, but I love the shimmer on this. It is so pretty, and I did it only on the flowers. But it added a bunch of dimension to this, but you can definitely do this card without that at all. It's a really cute card. I really um, am really loving this Painted Poppies Bundle. So what you get in the Painted Poppies Bundle is this Painted Poppies Stamp Set. To get it as a bundle, it is going to be the Painted Labels. Now I have most of them out on another magnet sheet. It's this one here, and this is not part of it. This is going to be for this card. But um, these and then these are all a part of this um, these dies. And it all coordinates with this bundle. All right, so we are going to move on here. I'm using, again, for this one, the So Sentimental stamp set. And I'm doing the Sending Healing Hugs. I really like that one um, for this card. And I also used it on the gift box on the gift box I just shared. It's the same two stamp sets I'm using. All right, now you know celebration is going on right now. So for every fifty dollars you spend, you get a free product of your choice out of the celebration catalog. We are also using the rectangle um, stitched rectangle dies. I'm using these two. And then I'm using this one. This is going to be for the inside. This is um, almost two inches by three and a quarter. And then this one, the largest one, is two and three quarters by four and a four and a eighth. And then this one is three and three eighths by two and three eighths. So that's basically the size of these. If you don't have them, you can cut them in those sizes if you like, but the stitching, of course, definitely adds to this card and gives it some interest. All right, let's get started with this. Let's go ahead. I you need a basic five and a half by four and a quarter. This is the Thick Whisper White. We're going to go ahead and stamp all our pieces and then we'll get, bring up the big shot. And I did emboss this with our Subtles um, embossing folder and it is a dynamic one. I don't know if you can catch it. This gives it kind of to me like a linen look and it really adds to this card. And I know it's really hard in this video to see it because it's very, very subtle, like I said. All right. And so we're going to do that all at the same time. So let me get out all we need. So you need a piece of the, this is blueberry bushel, and they are all of, in our in colors. This is the Call Me Clover. And then you are going to need a piece of Whisper White to stamp our flowers on and run that through the big shop. All right, so let's do our stamping and coloring first. We're using the blends. Like I said, we're using um, lovely lipstick for this one, and I'm just using the light and dark. But you can color the, the them as whatever color you, you like. All right, so let's get out the Memento Black, and we are going to stamp two of the smaller poppies, and then one of the larger. 
and we're going to run these all through the big shot with the coordinating dies when we get them colored. I am just going to do some simple simple coloring and I'm going to go ahead and speed through it. If you want to see how I colored the other ones, I did share it in the last video for the gift box. But I know a lot of times um, it gets boring to watch someone color. So I am going to just speed through this part. And if you have any questions on it, just ask me and I will answer them in the comments. So I'm just using um, basic light and dark. We are going to go ahead and use the Call Me Clover, and I'm going to stamp the leaf. And I'm we, we want four of them, so I'm going to stamp it four times. We only have two dies, um, leaf dies, so I will be running these through twice. But I wanted to just add some colored cardstock, so that's why I'm doing it tone on tone. And then I, we are already, I already cut out this smaller um, one for our sentiment, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that with Memento Black. And we'll stamp the sentiment, sending healing hugs. We'll do this all, and then we'll have everything pretty much ready once we run it through the big shot. So I'm putting it more towards the top to leave room for where our flowers are going to be. All right, so let's now uh, bring the big shot up. Let's do our, our embossing first because it takes a different setup. So when you're using the dynamic plates, you need to use your regular multi-purpose platform. And then you're going to put your embossing folder in here. And then we are going to just use one plate on top. And then we're sending that through. And I'll try to show you. I'm dropping everything here. What that looks like. But see if you can see that. I'm not sure. But <laughs> it's really hard to see because it's so subtle. But we're done with that. And then we're going to use our magnetic platform our regular plate and then we're going to bring up the dies and our other pieces to cut. Okay, so we have all of our pieces cut. Here is the inside. Oh, we forgot one thing. I forgot to, I need to bring the big shot up one more time. I forgot the frame. So there's our frame. We need that for this card. It actually really makes this card. All right, so let's go ahead and get this together. So here's the front of our card that is embossed. We're going to go ahead and use some wet glue. I'm really getting low on my wet glue. And I ordered it, but it hadn't come in yet. And then we are going to place this in the center of our card here. All right, and then, oh, <laughs> it moved on me. That's what wet glue will do if you don't hold on to it for a few minutes. And I didn't get that centered. Ooh, I can see where my glue is, so let me line that back up. There we go. Now let me hold it just for a second. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to glue our sentiment on. You can use your snail for this. I just, I don't know, I've been using the wet glue a lot lately and it's really been working for me. Like I said, you do have to hold it. Um, it is a benefit of wet glue also to be able to move it around and get it exactly where you like it. 
And then we're going to put our other pieces on here. We're going to do the, the first two. We're going to glue these on. And I'm going to put one here. And then we're going to put the other one on the other side. And then this is going to be popped up in the middle. We're going to put our leaves on, but we're going to use some dimensionals and pop this one up. And then we're going to, last, we're going to do our effects, which really, really makes this card pop. But I'll show you what it looks like without it, because I might need to move this a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my leaves, which are all under here, and we're going to start putting these on. We'll put two on the bottom here. Put one up here. I'm kind of making it like an L shape there. And then we're going to do one more on the bottom here. Just put them however you like it. And we are going to also use some of our clear and I can't remember what we, what we call those because I lost the thing they were in, but I will actually look that up and put it in the video. And we are going to color these, and I'm going to use some Daffodil Delight, and I'm just coloring three. And I advise using this shorter one to color these because it can mess up your other one. I did it with my real red. I'm, I messed it up because I pressed too hard, and it kind of messed up the tip. So I had to get a new one, but we're going to use three and use the dark. And then we're going to put this on our card and then we'll, and it, this dries really fast. You can do your, um, color them any color you like with your blends. And it does dry really qu quick because it is, um, alcohol marker. I really want to put this down a little bit further. I have it a little bit too up a little bit too and it's got dimensional so I can move it a little bit there we go I like that a little bit better all right so that's it now I'm gonna take our shimmery effects and what I'm gonna do is I'm just outlying outline not outlying outlining all of these flowers with it and you have to be patient um, try to keep it all like the same thickness if possible but although it doesn't really, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's still pretty. But just follow all the lines. And I hope that you're going to be able to see this because, and I don't want to touch it right now because it really needs time to dry. But can you see on there how it makes it really shimmery and it makes it really pop? It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it as well in here. Yeah, you can when it's dry. So that is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really fun to do, you know, using the crystal effects. But like I said, you can create this card without them if you don't have it. All right, everyone. I have a new hostess code for January. So if you would like to place an order with me, you can use this hostess code. And um, I am changing the rewards program up. If you use the hostess code, you get in a drawing for um, free hostess dollars at the end of the month. All right, everyone. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.